What's up guys? We are back at camp. We're gonna do a few things today. Come up, camp, cook us a chicken over the fire. All that good stuff. Right now we, uh, we're getting the fire ready. We've kind of got it ready to go. It's, uh, we've got about an hour and a half or so of daylight left. Um, yeah, so we'll get that prepped up, ready to go. That way when it starts to get dark, we'll have our fire blazing, ready to go. All right guys, we're gonna try something a little different today. We, um, we've got this really, really, really old crosscut saw here two-person saw we're gonna go down here and try to cut up a little bit of firewood with it but first I'm gonna to have to use my um, my hand file here that I brought from the house an old hand file and I'm gonna to try to sharpen some of these little teeth on here if you notice you can actually see it's like Sharp on this side, sharp on this side, sharp on this side, sharp on this side, sharp on this side. And I'm just going to go down through there with a hand file and kind of sharpen these real quick. And then we're going to take it back in the woods and give it a go, see how it works. Uh, this thing's super old and rusted, but, you know, we're going to do it the best we can. See if we can get it sharpened a little bit. As you can tell, guys, in this clip, uh, this saw is very dull. I didn't have enough time to sharpen all the little blades, and, uh, yeah, it jams up on us, so we kind of gave up on it. All right, guys, we're going to cook a chicken tonight over the fire, so I'm going to find a couple sticks, one to put here, one to put here. I can make it like a rotisserie. I'm going to drive some nails in the side of it so I can take my chicken and lower it up and down when I need to. We kind of got it set up here and what I did was I built it to where I put some nails in and we can just lower it down to the fire there as we get closer. Or, you know if the fire dies down a little bit we can raise it up and down. So my buddy Chad makes some really cool him he makes some really cool um some really cool homemade bushcraft, bushcraft knives or whatever so uh hopefully we'll have some of those and some films coming up here shortly. All right, guys, we decided to take a break from uh, camp for a second, building stuff, and uh, decided to go on a little hike down to the water and just look at the scenery and stuff.
Too bad we ain't doing some squirrel hunting right now. I can hear those squirrel up in that cove right there. to get the fire started. First, we're gonna snack on a little bit of jerky. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's bacon. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Maple glaze. I said I'm gonna sleep tonight. I'm gonna sleep in a hammock. What's Scott talking about? Still ain't had time to build our beds, you know, but That'll be something good when we come up here and we got more time. My brother worked till 2 o'clock today, so it gets dark here right at 6 o'clock, so it don't leave us much time. And we, we actually had a lot of driving to do, too, so. Yeah. Be right by the fire. It's a beautiful morning. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, I was kind of having a little trouble getting this fire started. It's kind of going now, but uh, I was just taking some of this old grass from out of the field and putting it in here because this stuff, man, it, it blazes like gasoline. Look, I barely touched the flames with it, and it, it's already going, so. Yeah, we, we've got fire now. All right, guys, we uh, we picked up a whole chicken from the butcher, and uh, yeah, we're gonna cook it over the fire. Booyah. Just like that there. We gotta let this fire die down some, so once this fire dies down a little bit, we'll get a little bit of video of it, of it cooking. Hello. All right, guys, we got our uh, chicken cooking over the fire. And what we'll do is, as the fire burns down some, we'll just, we made it to where we can drop, drop the, the stick down. You can flip it over and everything. We're going to have us some good chicken, buddy. We'll season that bad boy here in a minute, too. All right, guys, just until the chicken's done, I got me a little cup of rice and uh, beans. The chicken is looking good. And I've got my cup of beans cooking a little bit more. Oh yeah, you can hear the juice from the chicken hitting the uh, coals and stuff. Pretty awesome. Grab my spoon. See that? Yeah. Just jumped right out on Brandon. Them coals did. <laughs> I don't know if those lights are messing with you guys or not. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's about seven o'clock now. Just waiting on this chicken to finish up. I'm gonna eat that can't wait <laughs> but yeah we're gonna wake up in the morning do a little bit of work we ran out of daylight tonight uh, so we didn't have a lot of time to 
uh, build our beds and stuff like that. So we'll probably wake up tomorrow and maybe do a little bit of work, build some stuff, build a little roof over the top of the, uh, the lean-tos here. Do a little bit of that before we head out tomorrow. So, unfortunately, that's the only thing that sucks about getting up here later in the afternoon. All right, guys. <laughs> My rice and beans are done. Oh, yeah. I say oh yeah a lot, I guess. Good stuff right there. Yep. Ain't many owls tonight though. What are you making, bro? A toothpick, man. A toothpick? Get that brat down my teeth. Does it work? It's working, dude. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, guys. Here goes the chicken. Fish on its butt. Here, oh my god, I smell it. It smells so good. <laughs> Can you guys see the juice from that? <coughs> here, baby. Hold your plate out here. You gotta hold it tight, bro. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Let's lay the stick somewhere. <laughs> you got it by the neck. <laughs> Man, all right. Just killed this today. Yeah. <laughs> no, we got this from the butcher, boy. Move your leg off. You grab that side, I'll grab this side. You guys see that? Look at the steam. <laughs> yes. Man. Wow. Alright, well my uh my hammock here wasn't very comfortable. I've kind of scrunched down in there. So what we did was we cut a few limbs here. Kind of crammed them down in there to kind of keep this hammock a little more wide open. Put one at the foot of the hammock. And one at the uh head of it there. So I can kind of fit in there a little more comfortably. Brandon cooking him a bratwurst for breakfast. Yep. And as y'all can see, I'm on the ground. Yeah, it started raining, sleeting, something last night. First it was ice, then it was rain, and when I had this hammock hung up, I was kind of out in the open. So I had to take it down. Put it on the ground and sleep on the ground, which is actually kind of better. Use my backpack for a pillow since I didn't have one. But anyways, yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna whip up a coffee, <coughs> make breakfast, our usual potatoes, sausage, and onion and stuff, just like the last video. Uh, I don't have a lot of battery left. I think this cold weather kind of drained my batteries. So, one's completely dead. This one's got about 80, but we're going to build onto the cabin a little bit today before we leave here. Run, uh, not the cabin, but the camp here. <clears throat> Alright, guys. We skipped out on the potatoes and stuff for breakfast. Uh, <clears throat> We forgot the can opener down at the cabin, and I don't feel like walking down there, so 
We're going to do it easy, the simple way, and make some ramen noodles. <clears throat> now that's simple and easy right there. It don't get much easier than that. Now we can stoke our fire back up here. Guys, it's so windy right now. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but where we are at, where we built this, where me and Chad originally built this uh, camp right here, I mean, the wind's not touching us. And the, the trees around us on this, like I said in the last video, that wind comes up this valley, but it's literally not touching us. All these trees and stuff is completely blocking the wind, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> today. Alright guys, uh, right now all we're trying to, we just ran the logs across just to kind of give us a structure. You know it's not closed, but what we're going to do is, is take the pine needles and limbs and stuff like we did on the walls, start laying them across the top. This is just to kind of have just a, kind of a little small sitting area right here with the fire if it starts sprinkling or something, maybe keep a little more wind off of us. Yeah. Alright guys, that's it for camp this week. We're about to head out and head back to the house. Tune in next time. Uh, we'll be doing a little bit more stuff and I think our next video we should have some of Chad's homemade knives that he makes. So anyways, alright guys, thanks for watching the video.